Hi, my name is Olivia. Welcome to Team 7480's fourth programming lesson. Today, rather than relying predominantly on the WPILib automatically generated projects, we're going to be doing a bit more of the legwork ourselves, and we're going to program a mechanism drive with four Falcon 500 motors. The first thing we need to do is launch VS Code from the desktop and click the W icon in the top right hand corner, and then press Create New Project. We'll do Example, C++, and we'll do Motor Controller. Once you've selected the directory and the project name, you can generate your project. If you take a look at the code you just generated, you can see that we have one PWM Victor SVX speed controller and a joystick to drive that. However, if we want to make a mechanism drive, we're going to need to have four speed controllers. However, like the last lesson, instead of using the PWM speed controllers, we're going to use the Talon FXs built into the Falcon 500. To do this, we're going to need to install the appropriate vendor dependencies into this project. So to do this, click the W, Manage Vendor Libraries, Install New Libraries Offline, CTRE Phoenix. If you haven't already installed the Phoenix libraries from the CTRE website, you can go look at the last video to learn how to do that. At the start of this program, we have three hashtag include or pound includes as they're called which allow your program to leverage pre-built libraries like WPILib. Here we have pound include PWM Victor SPX. Instead of including the PWM Victor SPX header here, we're going to change that to be CTRE slash Phoenix.h. Next, we want to change this PWM Victor SPX to a Talon FX, and we do this by typing WPI underscore Talon FX. Now we have one Talon FX set up. However, we want to have a four wheel mechanism drive. So to do this, we'll just copy and paste. Next, we'll need to assign these each a unique name and CAN ID. And on the CAN bus, the PDP or the power distribution panel is assigned CAN ID 0. So we'll change these to 1, 2, 3, and 4. We'll also assign them more descriptive names like front left, rear left, etc. And notice that joystick is assigned to port 0. However, the joystick is not plugged into the CAN bus, so that doesn't matter that it's 0. Now we've created four motors, however, only one of them is getting the speed from the joystick. So to change this, we'll need to update the name of M underscore motor and copy this line for the remaining three motors. Thankfully, even though we're using different speed controllers, they generally have the same functions. So by using set, we're still turning the motor on to a speed regulated by the joystick. Now that we finished programming, you could deploy this code to a robot. However, most of you probably don't have a mechanism drive just sitting around, so I'll just tell you what would happen if you deployed this code right now. Basically, your left and your right motors would spin in different directions and you would go in a circle. And this is because when you move your motor to the other side, it's still going clockwise. However, now clockwise is a different direction than the right side, which causes them to spin in different directions. To change this, we'll need to make the right motors read a negative speed from the joystick. And you can do this by just simply putting a negative sign in front of m underscore stick dot get y. Now we can try building our project. So my build failed and it's because I forgot the T in front right motor. So I'll correct that typo and then it should work. Now that my code compiled successfully, I have a mechanism drive that will go forward and backwards and it won't go side to side because that would require more complex logic right now, but we'll be doing that in one of our future episodes.